Oh, hello, my love. This is your channel now, huh? I might as well just pack it up. Oh, nobody wants to see that. I am so sorry. PG rated. PG 13 at least. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie and this is Mally. And if you are not new, then welcome to our channel. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different video today. I'm going to be doing like a self care nighttime routine. I know it's still kind of daytime, but the sun is gonna be setting soon and I have a lot to do tonight. So I'm gonna be doing like a nighttime, whatever, you get it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of clicking going around. Can we, can we click less? Less of the clicking. Quiet on set. Thank you so much. You wanna come up too? Oh, it's a party. You know, I try to do like less. <laughs> Evil, caught on camera. This is the one that bit my lip. Told you guys. On my Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, I tell you guys this all the time. But on Instagram, I asked you guys to give me some self-care routines that are your favorite. So I basically had my subscribers pick my self-care routines. Some of this stuff I do, some of this stuff I don't do. Some of this stuff, ahem, really, we'll get into that. I'm sure you're probably wondering why a video like this isn't filmed in like, I don't know, maybe like a bedroom or a bathroom, but currently my upstairs floors are finished, but it looks like an actual war zone, so I'm not gonna bring you guys up there. Also, I got so many responses from you guys on my Instagram, and it was all pretty much kind of like the same thing. A lot of you guys said hair masks, foot masks, like an in-depth skincare routine. You guys said you like to eat healthy. You do like a little bit of um, clean eating on a self-care day, self-tanning, nails, Things like that. We're doing hot girl shit, okay? Stuff that I don't really ever partake in. I'm very low maintenance. Honestly, my maintenance goes about as far as I'll self tan every once in a while and I get my hair done about twice a year. So that's about the extent of my hot girl shit. To start this video off, we're gonna start with some skincare and I'm actually really excited to tell you guys about this skincare because I am actually partnering with Function of Beauty in today's video. So I have been testing Function of Beauty skin for the past two months for you guys and I'm really excited to share it with you. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys from like top to bottom so that you know everything about the brand before you go ahead and make the decision of whether or not you would like to try them for yourself. So first you're going to start off by clicking the link in the description box below and you're going to start by taking their simple quiz. It's going to ask you a few different things like to describe your skin type, how much makeup do you wear on a daily basis, and also the sensitivity of your skin. Next, it's going to ask you what your skin goals are. I wanted to hydrate, even my skin tone, and reduce breakouts. So in my particular formula, they used ingredients like niacinamide and salicylic acid to help me achieve my skin goals. It's also super cute because it's 100% customizable, so you can put your name on each one of your skincare products. So I start off with the cleanser. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's it says function of Katie and this is actually the gel cleanser. They have a gel cleanser and then they have a jelly cleanser as well. I just start off with a couple pumps of the cleanser. Not only is the packaging customizable, but each formula is 100% customizable to your specific skin needs and goals with over 3.1 billion formulations and combinations possible, making it the number one most customizable skincare brand in the world. Honestly, I got this gel moisturizer because it was still kind of hot in Las Vegas, but now that it's getting a little bit colder out and my skin's getting a little more dry, I need something that's a little more rich. So I think with my next order, I'm gonna get the cream or the lotion, which is honestly really nice because since the products are so customizable, you can adapt your formula to kind of like the seasons changing and what you need at that time for that particular season. So I'm just going to press this into my skin. I kind of just like to go like this, like upwards, and then press. And my skin always gets kind of red whenever I touch it, so it's just because it's really sensitive. Speaking of sensitive skin, I don't get any fragrance in any of my products, but if you choose to get a fragrance in your products, they have a really nice scent called Do You, and it's like a citrus cucumber scent. And honestly, even though the serum is probably 
probably by far my favorite product of the three. I think I am gonna skip out on using it just for this particular video because this is something that I like to apply like right before I go to bed. I honestly couldn't be happier with the change I've seen in my skin from using these products for the last couple months and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. They have no toxins, no GMOs, no parabens, no sulfates, they're vegan, they're cruelty free. They're just good products and it's easy. Like I think that's the best part is it's just it's simple and it's easy. If you would like to try Function of Beauty for yourself, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below. And not only will you receive 20% off of your first purchase, you will also receive one of these little cute do you selfie headbands. So yeah, if you end up trying Function of Beauty for yourself, I really hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. But for now, we are going to move on to another product. So I think that next, while my hair is still like a little bit damp, I'm going to apply some of this hair mask. And yes, this hair mask is from Function of Beauty, but this is not sponsored. I mean, like the skin part was, but this isn't. My hair is like barely damp anymore, but it'll work. What are your guys' favorite hair masks? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know because when I asked you guys on Instagram, pretty much all of you guys said that you really love doing hair masks. I don't do hair masks very often i'm not gonna lie just because my particular hair is like really thin and i feel like the softer that it is like the less volume that it has so that's also why whenever i do put on a hair mask i only put it on the ends because i don't want like the top of my hair to be really soft i remember when i was younger i used to put mayonnaise in my hair and that was like my poor person's version of doing a hair mask <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna brush this out really quickly and then put it in a nice little braid and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back with my little braid and I'm going to next apply some self tanner, but you know, fortunately, unfortunately, um, whatever way you wanna look at it, YouTube does not allow nudity on the platform and your girl cannot really afford to get demonetized at the current state of time. What, it, what? Anyway, so I am going to apply some self tanner and my favorite self tanner is the Bondi Sands One Hour Express. I'm going to put this on, slather it all over my naked body and then I will be right back. Whew, okay, I am back and I am bronzed. So even though this says to leave it on for an hour, I usually either like sleep in it or I leave it on for like three or four or Honestly, I leave it on for a long time. I got this at Walgreens. You can get it at your local Walgreens or on, I'm sure like other places have it. Like I'm sure Bondi Sands website has it and stuff. But I also use the mitt. I feel like it's really important to use the mitt. And what's nice is it has a color guard so you can see, you know, where it's going on your body. Oh, and I took my bra off, but obviously you can see that it look a little dark. Um, you will put this on and you will look like you just purchased a one-way ticket to cancel town but i would just maybe like not post anything on the gram or on social media while you're looking like this even though that's literally what i'm doing right now but i'm telling you do as i say not as i do okay next i thought we could like paint our nails together how fun that was annoying as you can see I don't really do my nails. There is actually some dirt in there as well, but you know, I thought about it and I was like, when I put the nail polish on, you're not even gonna be able to see the dirt. So I clean them, you know? But yeah, I'm just gonna file these down. Ooh, is that annoying? Like nails on a chalkboard, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna file these down to like, you know, an even, an even length. And then I thought we could do like a nice blue. It's the Essie, what are you called? Lose the snooze, said no one ever. Guys, I'm kind of like an e-girl now. I have a hydro flask. I have a scrunchie somewhere. I feel like I'm honestly gonna be like the next emerging TikTok e-girl. Just give me like a couple months, okay? I feel like this is such a fun little video. Let me know what you think about it. I feel like it's almost kind of like a quarantine sleepover. I mean, yes, I am in my kitchen talking to myself and you guys aren't here with me, but I don't know. I feel like when I'm talking, I'm actually talking to you guys. So I don't feel like as crazy. Now's the tricky part, left hand. 
Oh my God, too much, too much, too much. Great. Have you guys been painting your nails at home in quarantine or like, do you just not care? Is everyone just over it? That's kind of like how I got the idea of doing this video is because I feel like, I don't know, it's not that I feel like I let myself go because like there's really not much to let go. I really don't have like a lot of maintenance stuff that I keep up with, but I don't know. I feel like at my job at the club, like I had to get done up a couple times a week, obviously. So it just makes you like feel good to like look good sometimes. And I've, I've been looking rough lately, so I was like, Maybe I should do a little extra something something. I remember when Ben and I first started dating. God, he was a gem, that Benjamin. But yeah, I remember when him and I first started dating, I had never gotten my nails done in my whole entire life. He was like, so are you gonna get your nails done ever? And I was like, I've never gotten my nails done in my life. And he was like, well, I need you to get your nails done because I, I like when girls get their nails done. And I was like, I'm gonna need you to like date somebody else then because like, I also don't like guys that tell me what to do. So yeah, then you guys know how that ended. So I'm gonna let these dry and ponder my life decisions for a second. When I was a little girl, my grandmom, she's painting my nails, and my favorite thing was going like this. I know that sounds weird. Like if you do it really hard, it feels, Never mind. While my nails, my nails, wow. While my nails are drying, by the way, what do you think of the color? Do we like? It's cute, I guess. I think I'm gonna apply the face mask and the eye masks. I think I'm gonna put them on. I cannot speak. I think I'm going to put them on while I'm eating. I probably should have opened these before I did my nails. But anyway, if you guys have not heard of Loops Beauty before, this is actually a good friend of mine. He and his brother launched a brand and these face masks, face, they're good face masks. They also have a lip one but I figured I wouldn't be able to talk if I did the lip one. You guys are like, yes, please do the lip one. I'm thinking about like how crazy I'm gonna look while I'm eating with this mask on, but who's really here judging me, you know? Obviously the people that have already disliked this video without watching the whole entire thing, but we're not gonna talk about that, are we? So this particular mask is called the Clean Slate and it's for a daytime refresh. It says that it detoxifies, deep cleans, soothes, and hydrates. This one looks like it's been through it, but I think that's because, I don't know if you guys saw the packaging. Oh no, my battery's dying. If you saw the packaging, it's all like crinkled up because it was in the bottom of the suitcase. banging noise like hello trying to film here i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try some of these vibe shots i'm gonna do two this is wellness and rescue this is energy and focus and then this one's immunity let's do energy and focus because for the third time i have a bunch to do tonight and then we will do the immunity boost what do we do first You know what, I'm gonna open this, you know, have it on deck. I don't know why I put that lid on so tight every time, like, it's ridiculous. Oh! Oh my God. This one has elderberry in it, so maybe this one's a little bit better. I had a bird in my house today, mind you. Woke up with a freaking pigeon in my house. I don't know if you've woken up with a pigeon lately in your house, but let me tell you something. It's um, 
It's interesting. Oh, 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 God. It like jolts you. It's so freaking delicious. It's just crazy how good it is. I'm not. I'm not even being dramatic. Oh, that was freaking nasty. You know, this self care day really started off promising. Oh, God. Okay. I am so sorry. I am done. <laughs> that water just splashed up. I don't know if you saw that. This salad is one of my favorite salads ever. It's from this restaurant called Cafe Rio in Las Vegas, obviously. It's like shredded chicken, lettuce, pico de gallo, cheese. I mean, it's probably not the healthiest salad, but like it's a salad, okay? And I don't wanna hear anything else about it. This is a creamy tomatillo dress. Okay, dressing. This is fresca. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. I get like a whole bowl of it because it's so good. Just kind of like sprinkle this, a little sprinkle of this. I actually don't really like cilantro. I just don't want to be like picky. I just tell them to put everything on it and I just pick out what I don't want. I do like cilantro. I just, not like that. Maybe like chopped in like a salsa or something, but not like full leaves like that. Are you one of those people that taste cilantro like soap? Cause I heard that before. Like Mikey's like that. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, also I'm sure some of you guys are going to ask me this little three piece set. How cute is this? Comes with little pants, little shirt, and a robe. I got it from Misguided on Black Friday. It was like 60% off. It's probably not 60% off anymore, or maybe it is, I don't know. I feel like everybody and their mother is selling these little sets right now. I keep seeing them all over the place and I think that they're so cute and they're super comfortable. This wasn't like my first color choice, but mm. I've had this video idea written down for a pretty long time. And since it's more of like a girly video, I thought I'd buy one that was like a little more girly. <sighs> okay, I don't know if you've been on TikTok lately, but there's this viral foot mask and <clears throat> you know, it looks really cool. It's like you put it on and then it's supposed to like completely just like peel off like a whole entire layer of your foot basically. And it's supposed to reveal these like nice baby soft feet. I did this a week ago in preparation for this video because it said it took one to two weeks to start seeing results. I was gonna film updates, right? And I was gonna like insert stuff in this video. So about three days ago, I was walking around. I started to feel like the bottom of my feet kind of hurt. I didn't really think about it. I go to my girlfriend Gia's house and she's like, oh my God, I got this foot mask. And I'm like, I got a foot mask. And it's funny because actually the girl that I work with that sets me up with a lot of the sponsors that I take, <laughs> she's like, oh my God, I got the foot mask too. Like we're all doing this freaking foot mask. Anyway, at Gia's, I'm like, oh my God, you know what? Come to think of it, I was like, my feet have been freaking killing me lately. Mind you, if you have like a foot thing, just skip this. Just literally skip this because you're gonna die. Look at the bottom of my heel. These like dark red circle sores, they're only on my heel. Oh, oh my God. Like look at the skin just flaking off. It's so gross. My foot has never looked more disgusting in my life. Gia hasn't tried it yet, but I was talking to Danielle and she said that she has a rash all over her foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and not recommend this to you because holy crap, my feet hurt so bad. I'm telling you right now, I just don't because, or maybe do it, I don't know. I don't wanna tell you what to do. If you think it's cool and you saw the TikTok and you wanna do it, then I guess just, apply at your own risk, but I do want to let you know that that's what happened to my foot. Like it's gross. 
I love kombucha. I don't know why I'm doing this while I'm eating. You guys probably think I'm like disgusting. Like who does this? Wow. Do I look glowy? All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys to everyone that wrote in on my Instagram and suggested all these things to me. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget if you would like to try Functional Beauty for yourself, I will leave a link for that as well in the description box below. And if you use my link, you will get 20% off and you will also get a free selfie headband while supplies last. I would like to give a big thank you once again to Function Beauty for sponsoring today's video and I always appreciate you guys at home continuing to support me as well because without you and without these sponsors, I wouldn't be able to do my dream job. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. I know I never say that, I always forget to say that, but please, 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 please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications because I am kind of all over the place with my uploads and I promise you, Pinky promise you I'm going to get on a set schedule. I'm just trying to figure out what are the best days. So I also wanted to ask you guys that. So in the comments, please let me know what would be the best days for you for me to upload. Ideally, I want to start uploading twice a week. So two days. So what would be the best two days for you? I was thinking like Monday, Thursday or Tuesday, Friday or I don't know, Wednesday, Friday, like, I don't know. I don't know. You let me know what you would like. I'm gonna try to get on a better schedule, but until then, please make sure you put on your notifications because then you will be alerted to when I upload and make sure they are turned to all. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this little like self-care, little kind of like sleep overnight. I thought it was fun. I love you guys so, so, so much. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.